Good afternoon, professors. Uh, it's my great honor to be here for this case report. I'm Jai Hongyan from Tianjin Medical University General Hospital. Uh, today I will uh, bring a uh, mild in the web. In this web, uh, the patient is a 44 year uh, was a 44 years old female, and a pancreatic mass mass was found during a physical examination uh, one week before. The patient had no obvious symptoms such as fever, uh, abdominal pain, abdominal distension or jaundice, and has had no history of uh, uh, pancreatitis, hypoglycemia or diabetes. Uh, firstly, the patient underwent a conventional ultrasound examination. Uh, these are the uh, patient's uh, images. And um, these are the uh, vertical section wheel. Uh, we can see here is the uh, uh, mass. Uh, uh, these are the uh, cross section wheel. Uh, from the images, we can see the hypoechoic mass located between the body of the pancreas, the left lobe of the liver, and the stomach. It was well circumscribed with irregular shape and homo homogeneous echo. Uh, to make a further diagnosis, we perform the contrast enhanced ultrasound. Uh, the contrast agent we used was Sonowheel. Uh, these are the CUS images. Uh, these are the uh, artery freeze images. You can see. Um, and uh, uh, these are the venous freeze images. Uh, from the images, we can see the hypoechoic mass showed hyperenhancement in the artery freeze and a slightly hyperenhancement in the venous freeze. And the CUS gives the result that it might be a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor or solid pseudopapilloma. Uh, tumor from other sites was also possible. Uh, since the U.S. didn't uh, give a clear conclusion, the patient underwent CT and MRI. Uh, from CT images, we can see the mixed density nodule showed an even progressive enhancement, and the degree of enhancement in each stage is lower than that of the pancreatic parenchyma. And CT uh, gives the impression that it might be a solid pseudopapilloma. Uh, from MRI, we can see the edge of the iso-intensity lesion uh, was enhanced in the artery freeze and the degree of internal enhancement uh, in each freeze it, uh, was lower than that of the pancreatic parenchyma. And the MRI uh, gives the result that it might be a solid pseudopapilloma or neuroendocrine tumor. All the results of the patient's laboratory examination are in, uh, were in normal range. Uh, since the, pa uh, the lesion uh, was likely to be a neuroendocrine tumor, and the three contrast enhanced, enhanced examination failed to give a clear conclusion. The patient underwent surgery. Uh, during the surgery, we can see about uh, three centimeters mass above the pancreatic body with a clear boundary and a tough texture. Carefully separate the adhesion between the tumor and the surrounding tissues uh, make and make sure that the tumor was well Democrated from the pancreas. The HE staining results showed lymphoid tissue proliferation mainly with lymphoid follicular hyperplasia and the further uh, immune histochemical uh, staining results confirmed that the lesion was a custom-made disease. Uh, what is custom-made disease? Uh, it is rarely seen clinically and is a lympho proliferative disease with unknown reasons. The pathological features are obvious lymphoid follicles, blood vessels and plasma cells showing varying degrees of proliferation. Uh, clinically, it is characterized by significant swelling of deep or superficial lymph nodes, and some cases may be accompanied by systemic symptoms. And it is divided into unicentric type and multicentric type. The unicentric type occurs more common uh, in young people. The median age is 20 years old, and the patient presented a single lymph node swelling grows slowly. Uh, the medial spinal lymph nodes are the most common. 90% are hyaline vascular type, and 10% are plasma cell type. Uh, most of them, the, most of them can survive long term after removal. That is a benign disease process. 
Contrastly, the multicentric type uh, occurs more common in patients with a median age of 57 years. The patient presents uh, enlarged lymph nodes in multiple locations and accompanied by systemic symptoms, uh, often with multiple organ function impairment. Cobsis sarcoma or B cell lymphoma can occur in 20 to 30 per percent of patients. The multicentric type often presents an invasive cause of disease and is prone to be infected by bacteria. This is a diagnostic uh, proposed by Frizero, and it must be pointed out that uh, it may be difficult to make a definite and accurate clinical pathological diagnosis based on histopathology or clinical manifestations alone. And the two must be combined, especially for the multicentric type. Due to the diversity of the clinical and the pathological manifestations, the diagnosis is very easy to be confused with the falling disease, such as lymphatic tuberculosis, uh, malignant lymphoma, uh, metastatic lymph nodes, or the connective tissue disease. So when lymphoadenopathy uh, is encountered clinically, the customer disease should be sought of and the um, biopsy should be performed. And the diagnostic process should be combined with the medical history, the patient's uh, symptom, symptoms, and the uh, physical examination and the pathological examination. It is very important to rule out the disease with known, uh, known reason first. Uh, as to the treatment, the unicentric type may be cured by surgery, and the multicentric type is ineffective after surgery. The mean survival time is only 14 to 30 months. Uh, severe infections, multiple organ failure, and transformation to malignant tumors are the main causes of death. In recent years, the monoclonal antibodies or uh, combination chemotherapy have become a research hotspot. That's my case report. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Zhai Hongyan, for your presentation. Now we'd like to invite uh, Dr. Tang Shan to comment and give questions, please. Thanks, Dr. Zhai Hongyan. Uh, you, give me, you give us a very interesting title. Uh, the case, we find a uh, hypoepidemic was detected between left left lobe of liver and stomach. In CUS, we can see both artery and venous phase. The lesion present a hyper-enhancement hyper, hyper and, and also biomark or normal. Yes. So this is it's really difficult to uh, diagnose this disease. But the pathologic result was customer disease. Castleman disease is not a common disease when we see during the clinical work. So especially occurred in abdomen. During due to no symptom, it often be found during phys physical examination or by accident. So my question is that because today's the focus is CUS, so my question is that is there any characteristic finding on CUS of Casterman disease? Okay, thank you for your According question. Do you experience or review the paper or studies also? Thank okay, you. thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, after the uh, conventional ultrasound examination, uh, we thought that it might be a, a pancreatic uh, tumor. So we want to make a, a differential diagnosis between the solid pancreatic tumor using CUS and the uh, pancreatic adenocarcinoma uh, usually uh, show the hypo enhancement in artery phase and the, um, the enhancement pattern of focal pancreatitis uh, is similar to the normal pancreatic parenchyma and often show the uh, iso enhancement uh, in uh, CUS and the uh, neuro uh, endocrine tumor uh, have uh, abandoned uh, vascular so it uh, may uh, show um, obvious 
uh, hyper enhancement in uh, artery freeze uh, in CUS. Um, and uh, the uh, solid pseudo papilloma uh, consists of uh, different uh, uh, proportion of solid and cystic components. Uh, the solid components uh, usually show uh, hyper enhancement in the artery freeze. So after CUS, um, we found that the enhancement pattern of this uh, this layer uh, is not consistent with, is not fully consistent with any one of the uh, pancreatic tumor. Uh, but uh, only the hyper enhancement in artery freeze uh, conform to the uh, neural endocrine tumor and the solid uh, pseudo papilloma. Um, but the uh, Neuroendocrine tumor, the patient often presents uh, corresponding sy symptoms, and the age of uh, the patient with uh, uh, solid pseudo papilloma uh, uh, is younger than this patient. So uh, we were very confused, and we told the patient that uh, mm, uh, it uh, might be a, a solid. Uh, pseudo papilloma or neuroendocrine tumor, but uh, uh, tumor from other sites may also be possible. And I advise her to take a MRI examination. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.